sorry, I'm sorry, I'm scared. <sighs> okay, I was really hoping for like maybe a already said axe or something would have been nice. We've got to, we've got to reinforce. We got to reinforce as quickly as possible. Oh my God, I'm so scared. I don't think I have enough to do this. Uh, yes, I do. Awesome. Okay. So, uh, as you can see, you have to kind of, uh, miss, you have to, the, 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 the crafting option does give you a hell of a lot of options to, uh, to use. However, you do run into, like, said issues, like you saw before. Uh, there's a rabbit in here. You have to die now, rabbit. Mother Invincible rabbit! Maybe they'll go after the rabbit. That would be awesome. So, as you see, I laid down some traps, but they're not... Holy shit, I didn't know you guys were in here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. Gotta hurry. Didn't know they were gonna be in here. They're kind of stupid still, so... I don't know if I can... I don't know what the hell that's gonna do for me. Uh, so... Nothing, nothing. Don't I hate the mere fact I I can't I won't I don't know where the hell they're at with sound. Cause I got a pretty damn good headset on. And it's very hard for me to distinguish where the hell they're at. Guns are not an issue in this game. Let me just point that out. Uh what is an issue is figuring out where the hell they are at all times. I mean, I know where they're going to be at, at night. They're going to be right underneath me. Uh, they can tear down buildings, because they are stupid, and they sense you, and they want to eat you. Um, what else? Damn it, without the prop, without a weapon, I'm in tr without an axe, we are in some serious trouble in the very beginning nights. Uh, but you do not, and let me repeat this again, do not attempt to try to fight them. Because they are so badass at night. I don't know if this is going to actually respawn me or not. See? Is it, did they kill the, did they kill the rabbit? Will, the, will they kill the rabbit? And Jesus, this guy, this farmer was loaded with guns. Good God. Dude was like ready for Armageddon. Shit. Uh. Do some arrangement here. Good God. I picked up a lot of stuff really super fast. I wasn't expecting that as, as fast as we were. I do want to put this gun back. Uh. Because. I, I try to keep two guns on you at all times. Okay. And the reason why I'm telling you to do that is because. Nine times. Rocket? Seriously? A rocket? I'm keeping that. Uh. I don't need them. The millimeter. I don't need the hubcap because I, I don't know what the hell to do with this my cap at present time. So there's a 10M magazine and a 762 magazine. Okay. Alright, so I can't believe there's a freaking rocket in the game. <laughs> uh, so there's our iron ingots. There's our cloth. Uh, we currently don't need to get a rocket launcher. Okay. I've not seen that before. And I'm going to... I have four of them. I'm going to be one bad mojo. Okay. Oh, this is the rockets. Uh, yeah. I'm just going to kick ass, kick some ass. Because, wow. Now, I believe... I, I think I've got them. I've got the glass. I'm going to try it. Car air freshener filter. I don't know what the hell that's for. We need to find another... Some more. Let's see. We'll put this in here. We'll put this in here. Now, like I said before, during the day, they are weak. Okay, in life. Let's just put let's put let's, let's put it to that fashion. And when you play this game, you must keep in the back of your head at all times they are weak during the times of light. Any other time during the night, they are not weak. They are effing invincible. And I tell you that because when I started playing the game, I don't know even know why I'm keeping this. Uh, except maybe it could be used as a weapon later on, I don't know. Uh, 
because later on when I and I can't eat these. I don't know why. I don't know what the hell we're supposed to do with them. You can't put them down. You can't do anything with them. So they're going in the bag because I need the bag room. Because uh, when I started playing the game, I did not realize that till it was too late and I died. So I is for inventory. Okay. Now, um, I'm not exactly sure how the 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 um, what do you want to call it? The the system for um, for herbing goes. Uh, because I have not been able to get Irving to come up over here. I do know that you have the glass jar, like so. You know, there's the glass jar. I don't know if you have to do it like this. Yeah, I don't know. I have, I have not been. I know there are ways of doing it. I just don't know how. That's why I keep a hold of them. That's why I picked them up. Uh, yeah, there's more of these damn things. I don't want them things out of my bag. I, oh, I didn't put them in there at the beginning. So, uh, inventorying your, or managing your inventory is very important. Um, wow, I just can't believe there, there's a rocket launcher in this game. Freaking cool. Uh, and this is what you have to go through. Pretty much. Uh, I don't know if this bed will become my spawn point or not. I don't want to take that chance because uh, do we have enough cloth? Yes, I believe we do. Uh, we need to make a sleeping bag, and this is the shape of the sleeping bag, okay? So just like that, even though it's not here, trust me, that's the way you do it. Alright, and I for inventory, of course, and what we're going to do is we're going to put our sleeping bag right here. Now that creates our spawn point. Now what I would like to know, or what I would like to, like to see, is if I pick this up, and I pick this up, we go to M. Okay, my spawn point is not here. These stars are random spawn points where you'll where you'll come out as. Okay, I think that's where we spawned la the last first time I died. We got stuck. We've got stuck right here, and I spawned over here or somewhere over here. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, uh, now what I want to see is what happens if I put the bed down. Do we get a spawn point? I don't know. We gotta move off the star. Is there a star? No, there's not a star. So, this will not create a spawn point for you. However, I am interested in wondering if I destroy it, will I get fabric out of it? So let's find out. I don't know. Remember, everything in the game can be, can be destroyed. And I'm kind of just hanging out waiting for the daytime. Uh, I think it's breaking. Is it really breaking? I don't think it is. So, alright, so the sleeping bag definitely is going to be our way to go as far as our spawning points are concerned. So, we throw down the sleeping bag and we take a look at, oh, wrong button, this button. Uh, yes, there is, there is a spawn point there. See, that's where we will spawn every time we die. We will spawn up here. So, <clears throat> this is why I said you got to be very careful on what you, where you're going to, you know, where you're going to spawn at. God, they destroyed all those crops. Effing assholes. So, now, inventory-wise, we've cleaned up pretty good. Um, as you can see, there, we have durations on everything. Uh, what is our... We still got a good amount of clips. Now, if you take and put a clip in your inventory, when your bullets run out like you saw before, you will basically be able to uh, withstand them, or be able to basically, you know, s switch out guns. Now, if you look over here, my food bar is, hunger bar is going down, and my water bar is going down. So we definitely need to get something to drink, and we need some food for the first night. So just put them in your hot bar, right click. See, our food is going up, and our water is going up. But this isn't going to be enough. We know that. Uh, a lot of people who've played Project Zomboid and a lot of survival series uh, games will know that this is this is just the tip of the iceberg. Um, in my other version, or my other game, I actually have a crap ton of food, a crap ton of, of water. <clears throat> water is not hard to come by, FYI. Uh, food is not hard to come by neither. Uh, I am a little worried 
If I had an axe, I would be chopping the shit out of this place right now. Um, but I'm not. I do not know if there is a weight limit on this game. I pray there never is going to be because of the amount of stuff you have to constantly carry. So I think it would be just wise for the developers to leave it alone. Um, just because we know from past experiences, weight limits kind of make the game fun, but also kind of make the game very boring. Uh, you can open windows. This window you cannot open, but you, there are certain windows you can open by right-clicking them. Um, so yeah, so this is going to be the first episode. Thanks for watching, guys. We saw we got a bug where we got caught in a, you can get caught in a wall, uh, and it was a wall. It wasn't the actual zombies surrounding me. I actually was caught when I did my turnaround to see the zombies. I actually got caught on the the dresser. So there is a bug in that house. I don't know if it's going to be for your game or not, but just be a, a little aware of that. Uh, remember, zombies are strong at night. I mean, they're like super strong, like uh, a Dragon Ball Z Saiyan level 3 super strong. You know, uh for all you DBZ fans. Um, they will destroy everything around them to get to you. During the day, they do not chase you. They will eventually go off your off the path. Or you can outrun them or, or they get bored with you. That's the best way to say it. But, uh, as you can see here at night, if you're not up high, they're going to come after you. They're going to... And the next episode... Okay, they're still here. Okay. <laughs> you guys are like, did I just make myself a liar? Um, next episode, you'll see the destruction they can cause with you just sitting in one spot. Uh, I'm hoping we can get out of here because I thought the farm would be a good place to be at, but apparently it's not. We're going to head over to... Uh, where is it at? We're going to actually head here to... What is that? Dyersdale or something? Di yeah, Dyersville. Dyersville. There we go. We're gonna hit the Dyersville, and from Dyersville, we'll be able to do uh, more looting of houses. Currently, that's where I'm at right now. My other vert in my other world or other game. I'm currently right in this house or this one. I think I'm in this one, and uh, yeah. So. Uh, hope you can stay tuned. Hope you can stay by. Uh, we still have a whole lot of stuff to do. We still have to build our our our, our base. We still have to go out and explore. Um, we have to build uh, defensive areas, like it's defensive tower with Minecraft, with Project Zomboid, and just like the huge amount of oh my god moments. Anyways, um, oh yes, day night cycles. Day night cycles. During the day, you have you know your usual. If you look over to the top left, you'll see time is ticking by counter. Okay, so but right now it's two o'clock in the morning. You do not sleep. Okay, you have you you'll, you're gonna stay up. So the best suggestion I can give to you is when you find your location and you or you believe you're safe, uh, kind of have another window open on your computer to do something until like 7:30 ish. Or 7:20ish on the on the game clock. That way, you know that's when the sun is up, come has come up, and it has light around it, and it gives you more opportunity to run like hell. So, as always, thanks for watching, guys. Likes and comments are greatly appreciated. I know I'm gonna screw up a lot in this series. I actually have only played this this game for maybe five hours before I was like, oh, the hell with it. I'm gonna crank it up and I'm gonna record. Now, I don't know about volume-wise, and, you know, we're going to have to work on that a little bit as far as game volume and things like that is concerned. But, uh, why do I not hear any more zombies? That's not good. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll get the audio right. This is kind of spooky. Never had them where they went quiet. What the hell are they doing?